In the UK, the Supreme Court delivered its judgment on whether the Scottish Parliament can hold a second independence referendum. And the court ruled the Scottish government cannot hold an independence referendum without the UK government's consent. According to the president of the country's Supreme Court, the proposed bill does relate to reserved matters, but the court also recognised that the Scotland Act gives the Scottish Parliament limited powers. It has no powers to legislate where matters are reserved to the UK Parliament. This includes the union between Scotland and England. He further explained that if legislation relating to the union or to the Westminster Parliament comes up, then the Scottish Parliament has no power to approve it. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Stur Sturgeon said, UK's next national election will be an effective referendum on Scottish independence. Sturgeon is the leader of the pro-independence Scottish National Party. She added she respects the ruling of the UK Supreme Court, but it only strengthens the case for Scottish independence, she claims. We must and we will find another democratic, lawful and constitutional means by which the Scottish people can express their will. In my view, that can only be an election. The next national election scheduled for Scotland is, of course, the UK general election, making that both the first and the most obvious opportunity to seek what I described back in June as a de facto referendum. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said the Scottish people wanted the government to focus on the major challenges ahead. Listen in. Mr. Speaker, let me start by saying we respect the clear and definitive ruling of the, the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. And what I would say to the honourable gentleman that, uh, firstly, I am looking forward to also seeing uh, the moderator of Scotland tomorrow. Uh, and I think that the people of Scotland want us to be working on fixing the major challenges that we collectively face, whether that's the economy, supporting the NHS, or indeed supporting Ukraine. Now is the time for politicians to work together, and that's what this government will do.